and now we are ready to run our first Android application so first we are going to create this application so I will just click the start on new Android studio project or it's a better idea to close it if uh, it doesn't start and by default uh, it gives a name to your application which is my application but you can change uh, this name so for example my first app okay so first letter of uh, this app when you uh, you know write it as small letter here you will be able to see some warning that the application name for most app begins with uppercase so always uh, try to start uh, your project name with uh, uppercase okay and this is the domain name uh, which we can uh, discuss later but leave it as default and then click next and we are going to develop our application for phones and tab tablets so click next and in here this uh, this is uh, the activity uh, you can choose from so these are all the activities so act activities are nothing but the individual uh, pages uh, which you uh, want to have on your android application for now we will start with the blank activity and click next and leave all the things as default but because this is our first program and click finish and now android will uh, do some settings inside and it will uh, start the new project in some moments so it's uh, building my first gradle project info and now the android studio ide has been started right so we can just close this tip for now it's been started so for the first time when you uh, you know configure this android uh, project it can take some time to you know configure ag everything properly but from the next time whenever you use it everything will be configured and then everything uh, will uh, be much faster than the first time right so now our application has been sing up and now we are going to run our applications so this is our sample application i will explain everything what is what and what everything means in the next videos but this uh, in this video I just wanted to uh, just configure our first project and run it so that uh, everything is okay so I will just click this uh, green button here and what it's going to do is it's going to ask me which uh, device uh, I'm going to run this uh, Android app on and by default uh, uh, so now this uh, pop-up tells us that we need to choose the device just choose the default device uh, at the time of making this video the Nexus 5 API 21 cross or 21 x86 is uh, the default device you can choose uh, your uh, default device or you can create your own device uh, this I will also talk in the further video but right now just uh, choose the default one and click OK and now it says emulator this is the common error so it says emulator error x86 emulator currently requires hardware acceleration and uh, further it says please ensure and Intel HAXM is properly installed and usable so to solve this problem I already made a video how to solve this problem but 
what you need to do is now it's important right so what you need to do is just copy this uh, path which is c colon slash user slash whatever your username is slash app data until sdk so just copy this path from here and just open your file explorer and paste your path in the file explorer so the path is c colon slash user slash whatever your username is slash app data slash local slash android slash sdk just copy until sdk and paste it here right and press enter and it will open your sdk folder right in this sdk folder you will be able to see a folder called extras and in this folder you will see a folder called intel and inside this folder you will see a folder called hardware underscore accelerated underscore execution manager okay so just go inside this and there will be a executable file and for the first time you need to run this file so this file name is intel haxm minus android file so you just double click it and run it so the installation will start and just click next and just see here what is uh, the memory default memory this memory can be different in your case depending upon the you know hardware of your computer in my case right now it's 2 GB but uh, it can be 1 GB in your case in uh, other devices also so just note that uh, the memory used here or uh, the RAM you are running here you just uh, need to keep a note of this we are going to uh, uh, use this uh, value which is 2 GB uh, if we require further so just click next and click install and the installation will complete in few seconds so now the installation is complete you just need to uncheck this launch intel haxm documentation and just click finish and now we are going to rerun our application and let's see this time it works or not so i'm going to just click this green button once again and once again i will choose my default uh, device for now and let's see what happens so these are the common uh, you know error which may occur when you first uh, run your application so don't worry uh, if you face these kind of errors uh, i will show you how to solve them one by one and now our android emulator has been started and in few seconds we will see our hello world message which uh, you can see here uh, for your sample application this is the hello world message you can see here and the same message will appear in some second here in our emulator also so this emulator will exactly work like your android app mobile application or android mobile and you just need to unlock this so just drag it up and now you can see hello world so you have successfully compiled your first android application and you have successfully able to run it on this emulator so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video i will stop this video here itself and in the next video we will see uh, what uh, everything means in this ide and we will create some cool applications so let's so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now